question is very valid because we come from the conventional uh, approach to farming. So he's asking like, well, how do you suppress weeds? How do you, you know, we come from a world where we're educated to be the best. You know, I'm going to get top mark, not you. I'm going to get the iPad, mm -hmm. not you. I'm going to MIT, not you. I'll get the Mercedes Benz. You can have the Fiat Uno, you know. I, you know, it's always a competition because money is seen as the goal. You know, success is like, oh, you're in area, somebody around with I meet some people, they come and they tell me, oh, you're full in the Lusambla. I say, what does it change? You know, this is our confusion. And it comes because we have an anthropocentric view of the world. Man is in the center, and everything else is because of us. But in nature, there's an intelligence in the soil. I was explaining in the beginning if you look at this soil, it's alive. There are millions of microorganisms, molds, bacteria, insects, yeah, earthworms, fungi, small animals, and the fungal network called the mycelium, which shares nutrients, shares water. This life is a divinity. You can say the life in the soil is proportionate to the fertility of the soil. So life equals fertility, you can say Bhumidev. Mother Nature. In Europe, they call her Gaia. In South America, Pachimama. Every culture will have a name. I only know a few, you know. But it's it's worship. This is our, this is the basis mm. of, of our life. So everything that nature gives to us, to, to produce this, is a reflection of this divinity. If you go in the Ayurveda and you read about it, this Rishi, he tells to his disciple, go around the world and find me one plant of no use. So that time they had magic carpets and they can fly and stuff. No, and he comes back after 100 years says, mm -hmm. Samiji, there is nothing. Everything has a value. But you see, when we create money is the sole value, our sole aim, our litmus of success, and everything is anthropocentric, then we start destroying the fields and we say, oh, we're going to put a building plot here and I'm going to get this much money. Next door, someone will be suffering, having nothing. But there is a very deep confusion because when we start to understand the beauty of that soil, then we start to understand that, oh wow, this tipuli, this tipuli, which is an Indian plant, potato, chili, peanut, it's not Indian, South American, 17th century, mm. you know, but this is true. If you go in the Sangam period poetry, I didn't read it because I am not that it's, but if you read it, mm -hmm. the people told me they're comparing the tipli to Brahma, Vishnu, Shiva and very, mm -hmm. very beautiful poetry, I've been told. And you see, this is growing under a tree. Now imagine your life mission is to go to every mm -hmm. farmer in Tamil Nadu and get him to plant this under trees where he can't grow anything else. This tipli is very high value uh, economically. It's mm -hmm. number one for in a COVID. And also it will stimulate the Agni, which, which detoxifies the body. It balances the doshas. This is one thing. As, we, as the Tamilians, you'll know. Then you have the Perindai, and then you'll have the Tudavali. Then you'll mm -hmm. have the Moratekan. And as I was just showing you, you have the Kori Kere, you have the Komalina, you have the, the, this Kere, that one. You have the Pulchti Kere. The Pulchti Kere comes everywhere wild. The Sundakai comes everywhere wild. You know, mm. then the nanari starts to come everywhere. We make a juice with the nanari, yeah. the people will fight in the cafe. Hey, there's only two glass left, we want it. It's so tasty. And then we have the bale fruit, either maha wilba. This isn't just maha. And oh. we use the leaves. And we use the leaves of the sundakai for a de for a anti diabetes. Oh. We use the leaves of the pulimaram in the dal. And it's again reverse diabetes. We sell the mango leaves, we sell the the bale fruit is also used in the chutneys. We use everything, sir. Like, mm. it's crazy. You know, I did a big mistake this year. I did two bets of Pana Kelinga. Uh -huh. I went around with wheelbarrow. We picked up the Pana Param. It's rotting, no? First, we cooked the, took the good ones. We made juice. So good. Then we took the rest. We made two beds. You make a high bed. You pack them tight. And after three, four months, you get the Pana Kelinga. Mm. It's so delicious. You've had it, no? I mean, corn yeah. shapes. Yeah. Corn shapes, are exactly. It's so special. You know what is my mistake? Is I didn't do more beds. All of that, uh -huh. my mistake. Because they were just lying everywhere. And I'm probably the only person who did this in this bioregion now. 
But you go to every village 40 years ago, every house would have that. Mm. Because of that, we have the Tamil culture. You know, so when we forget these local foods, we become like America. Mm. Maggi noodle, pizza, burger, yeah. chicken 65, all of these things. And we lose what it means to be have a cultural identity. Just in the beginning of the tour, you missed that little bit. We were talking about cultural identity. So in England, there is no cultural identity. We have beer and football. It does. What does it mean to be British? Not much, actually. What does it mean to be American? It's just some masala, random thing. But what it means to be Tamil, we have a language, we have a Siddha tradition, we have a Sangam poetry, we have a Bharat Natyam, we have a Carnatic music, we have Viku and all our great pundits. We have spirituality, Ramana, all of this. We have also, you know, mm. other religions. They, they they brought a Muslim religion. But there you have Scotch, no? Huh? Scotch. <laughs> yeah, but Scotch not going to say. But it's true. In Scotland, it's part of their culture. It's beautiful. Here we have Kalu. Kalu. You know? <laughs> yeah, we have. We have beautiful alcohol. There's this Mohar tree, you know? The tribals make alcohol from that. We have such a traditions here. That's what it means to be Tamil. Now, what time is it? What time? This is our identity as culture. It comes from the earth. So when we forgot that and everything is revolved around an anthropocentric point of view with money as the goal, we lost. This is the disintegration mm. of the bonds that make a society. Then you will get Donald Trump joke. You will get Boris Johnson joke, comedy show. You will get all of this confusion in a society. It comes from this loss. So there is no one will change that but you and me. So you go home and you say, okay, people in there, we're having Pirindai chutney once a week. Mm. We're going to have mm. Muratekan in the dosa. We're mm. going to have mm. Tudawali Rasam. Okay. And we're going to have Paplikai as a poril once a week. We're going to use all those green mango in our samba. We're going to, you know, you will start going mm. back, you know. And then the more you dig, the more interesting it is. That this is another weed. This is a type of amaranth, a type of tandakiri. Oh, it's so nice to, to eat. And again, it grows just like that. You put it in the ground and close, it'll grow. All of these things grow like that. So you're like, hang on. You know, Bumidev, Thai. How loving and generous she is. And we don't have the eyes to see. In this tree is growing something called Amritam Kodi. Hindi me Giloy. Oh, this, is Giloy. this is Giloy here. You know how special this is? Ah. You see, if I give this to you and I say, Madam, the nectar of immortality, you know, what do you think? Oh, wow, thank you. Can you I know, grow this like this? It's maybe, I don't know if that will go like that, but from the stem it probably will grow, from the bigger stem. Yeah. You know, I can give you a piece here. Look. Yeah. This will grow. Prastu, you see, you have the roots on it there. Ah, okay. You I know how special this is? But do you know who grew this? Not me. I didn't grow this. The ponangani, I didn't grow that. That red one, I didn't, I don't know where it comes from. The alternatera, fantastic spinach. Very good for mm -hmm. for urinary tract. I didn't grow any of it. Mm -hmm. The more you honor the soil, the more you return organic matter, that's the story of Solitude Farm. It's not some clever velakara, I promise you. You know, I'm good talking and I'm, I'm an actor, I'm a musician, so I'm good at like giving a show. <laughs> But the reality of it is, my guru told, return all organic matter, it's the first act of love. You do that, everything will emerge. Because the mother nature, is, that's what she is, she's, she's, she's life in the soil. You know? It's a very simple story actually. And then you have to have the sense to use it. I ordered Deloitte on Amazon. You should have ordered it from me.